What's up guys, welcome to today's video. Today we're gonna call this cut a spiky textured quiff haircut. We're gonna start off sectioning around the head in a U-shaped pattern, so you can see right below that parietal ridge area. And then I'm gonna go in with my clipper, fully open, uh, long foreguard, and I'm gonna work my way through just to get the bulk out of the hair. And then we're gonna go through and do a little scissor over comb. So let's get this hair off, and then we're gonna work the rest of the haircut. So you'll notice right at the end, but as I'm going up with that clipper, I kind of rock out just to leave that weight line. And now I'm gonna go through and do some detail work doing scissor over comb. Uh, best way to do scissor over comb is notice that I have a stationary blade right there and I work my way up the head and I'm basically going uh, parallel to the side of the head. I don't go around that curve. I want that little bit of a weight line towards the top. So you can see right there, that's a good angle. I'm just going straight up, not straight into the head. So that's gonna build up that weight in the crown area, but I'm just fine tuning everything using scissor over comb. And then I really want that kind of lived in organic feel to the edges of this haircut. So I just go through, detail it, and uh, then we're gonna go into the top. All right, so now I'm gonna let down the top. I'm gonna comb it all forward. I'm gonna part it right down the center. And we're basically gonna create three sections. There's gonna be one on the left, one on the right. And then in the back, we're gonna separate the front and back to create one big section right in that crown area. All right, so you can see how the sectioning breaks down. One, two, three in the back. And now we're gonna start in the back working vertical sections, pulling them straight out from the head. And now I just wanna focus on that elevation. Elevation is key to getting a successful cut in the back. I don't wanna flatten anything. I wanna build up that weight. So I connect it to the bottom where we did that scissor over comb and clipper work. And then I just use a point cutting technique to still keep that texture, keep kind of a lived in line. And I work the round of the head. So I pull my guide over and then I cut with the round of the head and I keep working all the way to behind the ear. So that side section right there where I finished off my cut, that's where that disconnection is gonna start. So this is gonna have a disconnected top. It's gonna have a nice disconnected weight line around the parietal ridge. Uh, that's kind of the beauty of this cut. I wanted it to have that feel. So I'll just continue working around the round of the head. You can now see that my fingers are pointing down, my thumb is pointing in the direction I'm going, and I just keep pulling that guide into my hand and following the round of the head to start uh, pushing that disconnection to the side. So you can see that buildup of weight in the crown, that's the goal. Now we're gonna bring everything back. We're gonna travel across the top of the head until we start to curve in that fringe area and then I'm gonna over direct everything back. Still using a point cutting technique, fingers parallel to the floor and I just continue across creating my line all the way across the top of the head. So you can see another section, bringing it back just to the previous. So we're traveling across the top that disconnection is gonna happen in the tip of my fingers. That hair is much longer. It's gonna fall over everything. We're gonna cut that later. So I just keep continuing to cut that line across the top. So I'm using point cutting guys because there's no reason to put a solid line into this cut. It's going to be textured, it's gonna be spiky, it's gonna be a messier look. So why would I cut a blunt line and then go back in and point cut it later? You might as well just do it all at once. So we're cutting a line, it's got a purpose, but we're using point cutting to soften that line and to make sure that it has that texture built into it. So this is the part that I'm over directing back. It's only a couple inches back. I wanna push a little extra length into the front. We're gonna do some more cutting into that later. I'll show you some dry cutting techniques, but uh, this is the overall picture of the haircut. We're gonna do the same thing on this opposite side, uh, just working horizontal to the floor all the way across, uh, traveling guide up till about two inches from the hairline, and then we over direct everything back.
right, so now we're gonna move into the sides. And what I wanna do is I wanna draw a horizontal line all the way across. I'm going to connect uh, that weight line that we created in the scissor over comb and the clipper work. So there's still gonna be a nice heavy weight line, but it's still gonna feel like a disconnection. So you can see how it disconnects in the front still. I continue pulling those horizontal sections down to a stationary guide, connecting it all together. It's getting longer towards the top middle. So I just continue pulling that over until I run out of hair. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the opposite side. You guys will see the effect that this creates when we get into the dry portion of the cut. So now we're gonna move into the blow dryer. I'm using my Minerva Gold Blow Dryer. <laughs> if you want one of these things, it's super powerful. Uh, go to MinervaBeauty.com. Uh, I'm using my Ergo Paddle Brush, and I'm just working my way around the head, using that tension to smooth everything out and really look at my weight and assess it. Now, blow drying is so important in men's styling. We're gonna blow dry it different for the finished result, but right now I'm blow drying just for the cut. So I blow dry everything smooth and forward, and now we're gonna go in and do some detail work. I'm using the new Matt Beck Velcro clip that you can get on our shop, Shop FSE. Uh, you can get a two pack of them. They hold the hair so well. So you can see I take that parting and I just slide the clip up in, holds the hair nice and tight, and I continue working up the head. I'm using a texturizing scissor to just do some slide cutting, add some texture to it, remove some weight from that heaviness. Um, and that's really the technique, guys. It's pretty simple. All right, so now we're gonna move to the opposite side. We're gonna do the same exact thing. So just sliding uh, that texture scissor in. This is a really good look at the texture that it's creating and the softness that it creates using that textured blade. Now I'm gonna finalize the top, taking horizontal sections across the top, parallel to me, and just working that blade vertically in, point cutting, not to disturb the line, but just to take out a little extra weight. All right, and the last little detail we're gonna do, I just scoop up the hair on the sides in my comb and I just do a deeper point cut just to add a little more texture, a little more movement to the line. So now let's take away some length in the front. If you like this length, you can keep it. Uh, what I'm gonna do is a twist cutting technique. So slide cutting, but twisting the hair up in the fringe, pulling it straight out from where it lives. The twisting over directs certain pieces of the hair so it creates a broken line. And I just take off some of that length. Uh, so when I go to, to style this hair to be up, it's not too long. This is a great technique. You could use it on any short hair that you're doing, a shorter fringe than this, a side fringe. Uh, make sure you guys keep an open mind to all these techniques that we go over. You don't have to do this exact haircut, but if you like the result of it, then it's good to use this in every haircut that you do. gonna finish up with a little detail work with the scissor so just using the tip of the scissor working around the edges I don't want to fine-tune everything too much that's why I used that foreguard in the beginning because I wanted some length I want that texture around the edges this is a more lived-in look which is great for the time period that we're in now uh, it's something that'll wear a little bit better a little bit longer so now here's a tip for you guys if you noticed I used the heat from the blow dryer to make the hair stand up in the air uh, what that's doing is it's breaking down the bonds and allowing it to form in that direction so then when I go in and put the product in I'm just detailing the hair adding texture to it but the style wants to stand on its own a lot of guys try to take product and form and make their hair stand up just using the product uh, I go the opposite so use the heat from the blow dryer as your advantage 
and then go in, add the product and do your detail work through it. And you can see all that texture and all that movement building up. I just really, really love this style. If you wanted the top a little bit shorter, you could absolutely do that. I go around the edges, I clean everything up and here is our end result. I hope you guys like this cut. I hope you guys can use it in the salon. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Thanks for watching.